day 27 on seeing how long $100 can last me in New York City. For nearly a month, Frankie Hoy has been living off the same $100. But why? I think I'm just a bit of an idiot, Will, to be honest. <laughs> It's just then. I'm running out of money. It's not like in a GoFundMe way. A, a string of bad financial decisions is what is what got me to 100. I had $139 left in my bank account, and then I wasn't getting paid until like two weeks. So I thought I was like, all right, let me just spend $100 a week. The 27-year-old comedian documenting his journey on TikTok, where he's proving you can stretch 100 bucks even further than that initial goal of one week. I made my own coffee. Honestly, maybe an espresso. It wasn't too bad. Yum. For breakfast, I had a cupcake that Sean brought me yesterday. The coffee honestly really looks not great. Is that? Oh. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You gotta, you gotta try it. Well, I think the grossest thing. You know, I want to say the oatmeal, but the oatmeal is not that bad. I found the bag of oatmeal in my van that I completely forgot about. This is what's going to keep me alive. I can prepare it with ingredients that I already have. I want how delicious that looks. Were you eating it room temperature or were you heating it up? Well, whatever temperature the, the, it is in my van, because I'm using the water that's in my van. So whatever temperature that water is, I just pour it in there and it's, it's fine. That van is key to saving money, by the way. Frankie's able to avoid paying rent and pay for parking, thanks to a tip from a stranger. He was like, yo, dude, he's like, I know a bounty hunter that lives in his RV in Queens. Sure enough, I found some RVs and I parked right behind them, and I've been here for a while. Cool, so it's just you and the bounty hunters. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel safe. Frankie's currently making money through a side hustle, working for a caterer, but he's racked up more than 4 million likes on TikTok, with fans tuning in to see his money-saving journey. Before I left, I filled up my water bottle. For free. And I did not hop the turnstile. No, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sad and I'm not dying. <laughs> not sad, not dying, did not hop the turnstile. And he told me that he definitely doesn't save $60 a week because he's definitely not hopping the turnstile. <laughs> Today, Frankie's on day 28 with three packs of ramen noodles left and $5.96 left. So he thinks he has maybe three more days left on this $100 wow. challenge. And he's, he's lost like 30 pounds and all of this. <laughs> he can now fit into his pants, that his favorite pants that he was not fitting into, he told me. Yeah. Okay. You know, anybody out there that is thinking he's cheap, I think he's being resourceful. I that mean, is important. There, there is something to say about like he, he you know, he, it was out of necessity. He needed to save money or else he was going to find himself mm -hmm. in a tough spot. And so he committed to this and he's really sticking to it. I mean, and does it, he have a mom sending him gift packages or anything? He <laughs> is actually. So he's from California. He told me he's going home to California for the holidays and he's most looking forward to eating really good Mexican food when Any he's food. there. Any, Any food. <laughs> anything that's not room temperature oatmeal. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I was going to say, so he doesn't want to eat oatmeal with water <laughs> when he's out in California? No, Gross. no. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.